Hey there, Newton here. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been really quite a while. I'm going to tell you a story on why touch ground made me recover from a burnout. So recently, I've been in a really bad one, and which almost led me to quitting game dev entirely. There were so many things that were floating in my head, like I'm not going anywhere with this, I've wasted 2 years of my life for nothing, and one of the thoughts that I hated the most was, where's the money in this? I've been prioritizing money over my creation. I'm not saying I don't want to earn, but my initial principle in pursuing game dev is to have fun making games over earning from it. During this time, I scrambled to find a way to earn money quickly. For a month, I set myself to create digital arts to sell. I've uploaded my works to websites that I didn't even bother to fix the page. That was my reason. My only reason to make digital art. To sell. Looking back, I don't know why I did that. But still, I was grateful at that time because it led me to see that nothing can really replace the hard work you put into a thing you love. So after finishing the last piece of the wallpaper set I was making, and also uploaded a speed art video on it, I was not really excited when I published it. It was like, meh. Then I slowly crawled back into that misery stage. Then a few days later, while I was scrolling YouTube, I stumbled a dev vlog by Das Chala. And his game really looks fun. Now I've stumbled into a rabbit hole of game devs. I've watched a few more dev vlogs. And that kind of started the spark again. People create so many wonderful things. I want to create again. I want to feel that satisfying feeling of pressing that publish button again. I want to share that stuff. With this in mind and a purpose again, I return to game dev. Now, I don't want to go straight to that big game project idea. Yet. I want to inch myself back slowly so I wouldn't get overwhelmed and have a burnout again. The plan is to create a simple and doable game. Simple and doable. So we are doing doable and passable. Do doable and passable banners. Any? Remember, we're doing doable and passable. I've made some game ideas and tested out some prototypes. I've chosen a simple puzzle platformer game where you just need to step on a platform to complete the stage. This was a simple and doable game for me at this time. During my breaks at the office, I'll work on this for an hour, then when I come back home, a couple more. I was not stressing myself much on this, but I set myself a deadline. And during this time, I was really having fun again. Sometimes, I'll go even for more hours, and I didn't even notice it. So after a couple of weeks, I finished the game and uploaded it. I never felt so proud of a project I've created again. And yes, it's very satisfying to press that publish button again. So if you guys want to try it out, I'll put a link in the description below. Here are a couple of lessons I've learned during this time. Don't prioritize money over project. Creating, sharing, and helping others is the reward here. Money will follow. Success is defined by many ways. For me now, success is my games having at least 100 views and a comment saying that they had fun with it. Burnout is real. Get some rest from time to time. And the most important thing is to have fun making games. Cheers!